Well, we waited a very long time, but we finally know when the next Super Smash Bros. Ultimate DLC character, a fighter from ARMS, will be revealed to us. Yesterday, Nintendo of America tweeted out, join Super hashtag Smash Bros. Ultimate director Masahiro Sakurai on 6.22 at 7 a.m. Pacific time for a roughly 35 minute video live stream featuring an in-depth look at the upcoming DLC fighter from hashtag ARMS. And then there is an image that says Mr. Sakurai presents an ARMS fighter. Tune in 6.22, 7 a.m. Pacific time, 10 a.m. Eastern time. I'm going to live stream my reaction to the ARMS character reveal, so if you want to join me Monday morning for that, feel free to do so. So with just this weekend before the ARMS characters revealed, let's do what we always do and overanalyze everything to see what we can find out. Over on Discord, Derpiest Game Blast wrote me, I found something good that you would be interested in. Nintendo announced the ARMS character announcement date already, and the swirls in the background might be a reference to Springman, Springtron, and Max Brass from ARMS. Could this point to potentially getting them in the game as characters? And if you look at that yellow background with the stripes and swirls in it, it does match the backgrounds for Max Brass, Springtron, and Springman. There are a lot of these swirling stripe backgrounds for the ARMS characters, but the one they specifically used, the style of those stripes coming in the way that they are for the background in the Mr. Sakurai Presents video does fit for those three characters. However, I was able to find just this generic yellow background with the same sort of stripes and swirls for arms. I think it's just a generic arms background, and it happens to fit what the background looks like for Springman and Max Brass and Springtron. I don't think this actually points to those being the arms rep. Nintendo of America also continued on with a second tweet that says, there will be no further new fighter reveals other than a fighter from arms in this live stream. So Nintendo of America is letting us know up front that this is just going to be a live stream revealing the ARMS fighter and not whoever Challenger Pack 7 is. With that said, before we get into predicting things about the ARMS character reveal on Monday, let's talk a little bit about Challenger Pack 7. Now that we know for sure the next fighter is not going to be revealed alongside the ARMS character reveal on Monday, we have to look elsewhere for when that might happen. We do have something else pretty interesting happening next week, only two days after the ARMS character reveal, that could potentially be a time to drop the next Smash Fighter. On Wednesday the 24th of next week, we're getting another Pokemon Presents video, and it's a little strange they decided to break up the two Pokemon Present videos instead of having them happen all at once. Potentially the reason to do this could have been because the next character for Smash is going to be a Pokemon rep, potentially to promote the Isle of Armor DLC that just dropped, and they had to split it up because Sakurai wasn't ready to reveal the ARMS character. This could make somewhat sense. I mean, if we don't have the ARMS character revealed yet, you wouldn't want to reveal the next fighter, and it would make sense why they split up the Pokemon Presents videos. I don't really have any good explanation for why they decided to split it up over two weeks other than this. Not that I think that a Smash character is definitely going to happen at that Pokemon Presents. I actually think it's a really low chance for that to happen, but it would explain why they split it up. If you think the 24th is way too soon to announce the next character, keep in mind this month was initially supposed to have an E3 presentation and something like two characters getting revealed at E3 is not outside the norm at all. So Pokemon having another character to get revealed next week could happen. Personally, I'm not really leaning towards this. I just wanted to throw the theory out there. I think the Pokemon Presents video will likely be some new Pokemon game or something, maybe a remake of Diamond and Pearl or something like that, and not a Smash reveal. But I wanted to throw that theory out there because it is on my mind. Another potential date where we could get the next character revealed to us is July 7th. Again, keep in mind E3 was probably supposed to happen this year, and I don't think two fighters getting revealed is outside of the norm for E3, so having a fighter show up pretty soon after the arms reveal could still happen here. So why July 7th? Well, July 7th is 7-7, seven, seven, and Challenger Pack 7 is the next one we're getting, and it's for Fighter 77. Over on Twitter, at BraveBrandon440 wrote, I'm with you on the possibility of July 7th possibly revealing Fighter 77 of Challenger Pack 7. They went on to write, I would love that. Remember the 8818 Direct with Simon and K. Rule? We did have a Smash Direct on 8818. So something like July 7th, 77 for Challenger Pack 7 for Fighter number 77 could be something they'd go for. I can't help but think if all these sevens did line up that Gino might have a good possibility then, as he's from Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Of course, this is highly speculative, very hypothetical stuff, so I'm just going to keep an eye on July 7th and see what happens. 
If I had to guess who our next character might be after the arms reveal, my guess right now is Hihachi. This is going off of that Virgin thing about Hihachi being a guest character in something soon. There's no guarantee that would be Smash. It could be for like King of Fighters or something. But I still think a second Namco rep is pretty likely for Smash regardless. And Hihachi would be a really great character to get in Smash. We don't have his Mii costume back. So that's the character I'm leaning towards right now. Okay, so with speculation about the next character out of the way, let's talk a bit more about how the reveal is happening on Monday. Let's look and see if anyone was able to actually predict this date. There actually is one random 4chan post that did predict this date correctly. This was on Sunday, June 14th, and it says Min Min will be revealed and released on June 22nd. They want to wait until the Smash Ultimate Online Open is completed on the 21st before releasing the new character. We won't get the trailer for the next character after Min Min until August, though. So what they're talking about here is how the Super Smash Bros. Online Open was delayed a bit this year, and they wanted to wait until that was over to announce the ARMS reveal. Now keep in mind this is just a random 4chan post, so it could very well just be a lucky guess. A lot of people were guessing at dates and stuff. We've had this whole month people doing that, so there's not too much reason to look at this one. But I will give it credit for also guessing that we would not get a second character revealed alongside the ARMS character. We know that for sure, so they're saying that's not going to happen until August. So they both got the date right and the fact that a second character wouldn't be shown off. We will have to wait until Monday to see if they also got the character right being Min Min. I will say Min Min's already very guessed at, so even if that is correct, this one could still just be a bunch of lucky guesses. So no guarantee the next character would be revealed in August, but it would be worth looking at at that point. Okay, so now let's talk about who the ARMS character might actually be. First, I want to go over a few things I was talking about in my last video. Over on Twitter, I'm Ryan Khan wrote, It is super weird the ARMS Smash character has not released yet. This was only a day before we actually got the announcement. Later on they wrote, I know who it is, I just think it's weird they haven't released it so far into the month. So Imran is saying they know who the character is, and they sort of imply it's singular. I mean, I don't think they'd pluralize it if it was multiple characters, as that would give it away, but they're sort of implying here it is just one character, and they know who it is. Over on Reset Era, Mondo Mega wrote, Imran should toss us the fighter's gender just to shake up speculation for the final week before announcement. And Nate Drake wrote, that would make it far too easy. Once again, this sort of implies only a single character, as that character would have a specific gender that could narrow it down. People were speculating maybe it's a genderless character, and that's why it would narrow things down too much, and Nate Drake said it's not Helix. So if you believe Nate Drake knows who it is, you can knock Helix off of the possible characters. Okay, and now for the million dollar question, who do I think we're going to get revealed to us on Monday? I think it's going to be Min Min. If we end up getting only a single ARMS character here, I believe Min Min is the most likely character we'll probably get. If we only get a single character for the ARMS rep, I think Min Min is the most likely character. However, I'm not totally against the idea of getting multiple characters. I think that's still a possibility. I was talking about that a few videos back. However, even when I was talking about that, I thought Min Min was the most likely, with the possibility of her having, like, alts or echoes or some other situation, something unique that would give us multiple ARMS characters. But regardless, I still think Min Min is the most likely. According to that private message from Virgiben, they were saying, I have been hearing that the ARMS character for Smash is a multiple character sharing one slot deal. The names I specifically have heard being utilized are Springman, Ribbon Girl, and Min Min. There may be more than them. So I think the chance of getting multiple characters somehow, again, maybe echoes, maybe something unique, or potentially alts, is still on the table, I feel, but I think Min Min, regardless, is probably the character we're going to get. Basically, my guess right now is either it's just Min Min, or it's Min Min with echoes or alts or something unique with other characters somehow. Those are my kind of two guesses right now. I understand that every character from ARMS is very unique, so trying to do just alts for a bunch of different characters might be really difficult. So I do think Min Min alone would make sense, more so than Min Min with alts. However, something like Echo Fighters being introduced with actual slight changes to the characters could represent the ARMS fighters pretty well. So that might be something they go for. I don't know. I'm still thinking of multi-characters on the table, but again, Min Min is probably who we're going to get regardless. The presentation itself is called Mr. Sakurai Presents An Arms Fighter, implying singular. And the Nintendo of America tweet about the live stream says, featuring an in-depth look at the upcoming DLC Fighter from Arms. Once again, implying a singular character. 
Push Dustin tweeted out, not definitive proof, but Nintendo seems to have referred to Hero as one character in the past. So Nintendo saying a fighter from ARMS means that multiple characters as one fighter is still within the realm of possibility. And I totally agree with that. Obviously, if they said fighters, it would give it away if it was some sort of multiple character thing. However, Min Min is still probably who we're going to get with that possibility of more characters, maybe in some unique way. I've heard some interesting speculative theories about what could happen with that. One fairly out there theory, but it's pretty interesting, is Biff, the ARMS announcer, could be our character, and it might have something like Pokemon Trainer going on, where he announces which ARM character you choose between. Maybe something like Min Min, Ribbon Girl, and Spring Man, and you switch between them like Pokemon Trainer. Pokemon Trainer, of course, is counted as three separate characters, and I doubt the ARMS rep is going to take up three spots in this Fighter's Pass, but maybe it's something slightly different than the Pokemon Trainer. Maybe it's something even more unique. I don't know, I'm just leaving that possibility out there for some strange thing going on here. Whether or not we do get multiple characters or just one, I think Min Min is in either way. So let's talk a bit about Min Min. First off, Min Min won the Party Crash Bash, which seemed to be a big popularity contest for ARMS, and it's possible they used that to determine our Smash character. This wouldn't be the first time something like that was used to actually change something about a future Nintendo game. Something very similar happened with Splatoon and what happened with Splatoon 2. Min Min also ranks highly among the favorite characters of the actual developers of the ARMS series. So if this character was a special request from them, they may have requested that the character be Min Min. We also had that strange glitch with Bayonetta, potentially pointing to her possibly being used as a base character to create the arms fighter. Her smash attacks were what were glitching, and her smash attacks do involve big giant fists, so that could fit for just about any of the arms characters. However, what happened with her was that her texture actually changes. When Bayonetta attacks, her outfit is supposed to change slightly, so she has a texture change, but that actually glitched after an update where nothing about Bayonetta really should have been messed around with in the code, but it was. Again, pointing to the possibility she's being used as a base for the ARMS character. Well, one of Min Min's signature arms is her left arm transforming into a dragon arm, so it's possible they took Bayonetta, the character who has a changing texture already in her code, and were using that to create something with Min Min to allow her texture on her arm to change into a dragon arm. Min Min is also a character who uses kicks, and that's something that's pretty crucial with Smash. Obviously, it doesn't need to be in there. Someone like Little Mac doesn't have any kicks, but it probably helps to have something like that in the moveset. And beyond all those reasons, I've also just heard Min Min's name mentioned the most privately among credible people, so that's who I'm thinking it's probably going to be. If we do in fact get Min Min, that would put an end to the spirit rule, the idea that spirit characters can't become playable fighters, as Min Min is already a three-star spirit in Smash. We, of course, also have Springman as an assist trophy and Ribbon Girl as a me costume, so if either one of those two got in, it could destroy other rules as well, such as the assist trophies deconfirm rule if Springman got in. I say rule, but these have always just been fan theories, really. This is just stuff fans have clinged onto, but we may see the end of very soon here. So with Min Min as the most likely rep, in my opinion, who else do I think is possible here? Well, let's go down the list. Springman seems fairly likely to me. He is the face of arms, of course. However, he is already in the game as an assist trophy, and it feels a little strange to show us the entire arms roster just to later reveal that it's just Springman. I feel like if it was Springman, they would have just said so up front. Besides Min Min, Springman, and Ribbon Girl were the two names I've also heard credible people talking about. Those are also the three names that Virgiben heard, apparently. So Springman and Ribbon Girl are likely as well, though I think if they got in, it would probably be one of those multiple character situations like I was talking about before. I think it's either just Min Min or Min Min with alts or echoes or something featuring Springman and Ribbon Girl. When it was initially revealed we were going to get an ARMS character at all, the first character I thought of was Twintel. Mostly because of that Bayonetta glitch, and Twintel is just the character in ARMS that reminds me the most of Bayonetta. They both have hair attacks and can both slow down time. And she also has normal arms. Her hair is her arms, but she also has normal arms, which might be helpful for using items and things like that in Smash. Something many of us might not think about, but when developing the arms character, if they have to hold items and also do their arms attacks, it might be tough to get programmed into the game correctly. So a character that has normal arms and would still be able to use their arms attacks while holding items might be something Sakurai and his team may go for. Outside of the ARMS characters that are already represented in Smash as spirits, if, say, that fan spirits rule really does hold true, I think Max Brass has a pretty good shot here. He's sort of the face of the ARMS 
championship itself, so he would make sense to represent the game. Another character that comes to mind is Dr. Coyle. Dr. Coyle is sort of the main antagonist of ARMS, and she's a female villain character, something we have very few of in Smash. And then finally, I feel like I should just mention this one in case it actually happens, Mechanica had a very strange leak a long time ago that sort of points to her. This was way back in August of last year, and it says, September 12th, new Smash character reveal, female character, she's not a demanded character, and will disappoint and confuse a lot of people. That is all. I'm back, I was gonna leave things as messed up as they were, but I simply can't. Your new female rep has a mecha, I told you you will be confused. Now, obviously, this is from a long time ago. This is from before Terry. The September 12th part of it is completely wrong, but I haven't been able to get this one out of my head ever since the arms rep was announced because Mechanica would kind of fit this. I seriously doubt this one was legit. However, I felt I'd point it out here just in case it happens on Monday. All right, so those are my predictions for Mr. Sakurai Presents an arms fighter. I think it's probably Min Min, with the possibility of it being Min Min and somehow other arms characters, somehow a multi-character, again, something like alts or echoes, more likely, or something completely unique. Regardless if it's multiple or just one, I think Min Min will probably get revealed on Monday. So what else could we get in Mr. Sakurai Presents an Arms Fighter? Well, we might get the next batch of Amiibos revealed to us. We haven't seen any of the DLC Fighter Amiibos for the first Fighters Pass. The only DLC Amiibo we've gotten so far is Piranha Plant, but the actual first Fighter Pass, we haven't seen any of those Amiibos. So it'd be awesome if Sakurai revealed those to us. He's done it before in presentations, so something like the Banjo Amiibo getting revealed would be super hype in my opinion. I'd also love to see the Hero Amiibo specifically potentially come in like a four pack with all the alts. That would be really cool. We will also likely get another batch of me costumes, which could be another batch of deconfirmed characters. So I have to be prepared for that one. We may also get a deluxe me costume, at least that's what I've been calling them, the ones that are like Sans and Cuphead that came with a music track. We got that with Banjo, we got that with Byleth, we didn't get one with Terry, um, but it's possible we could get another one here with the arms character. Gino, of course, was a Mii costume in Smash 4, and we've sort of been waiting to see if that Mii costume will return ever, so it is possible that could happen. Hopefully, if Gino did come back as a Mii costume, he'd get that treatment the same way Sans and Cuphead did, and have like a full-fledged render for his head and everything. That would be awesome, in my opinion. If Gino got in with a music track as a Mii costume, I wouldn't be mad at that if he got the love and care that the Sans and Cuphead Mii costume did. Of course, so far, those deluxe Mii costumes have all been indie characters. We only have two of them, so two is hardly a pattern to go by, but they have both been indie characters. So potentially, those deluxe Mii costumes may be reserved for indie rep characters. I don't know, it's just a possibility. I actually might do a whole video with this topic in mind. Deluxe Mii costumes, who I think might get in as one, or who I think could work as one, something like that. It might be fun to go into that topic. Okay, so that's it for my predictions of what we might be seeing in Mr. Sakurai Presents an Arms Fighter livestream on Monday. However, there is one other thing I wanted to mention in this video. So in my last video, I was talking about some Crash Bandicoot speculation, speculation about Crash Bandicoot getting a new game, and as I was editing that video, a leak for the new game actually dropped. According to the leak, the game is going to be called Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time, and it looks like it's coming to both PS4 and Xbox One. Also Xbox Series X, if the cover is to be believed. This was all coming from a ratings board in Taiwan, apparently, and there was this description of the game as well. It says, Crash is relaxing and exploring his island in his time, 1998, when he finds a mysterious mask hidden away in a cave. Lanny Loli, it reads, the mask is one of the quantum masks and apparently knows Aku Aku, Crash's mask friend. With the quantum masks returning and a quantum rift appearing near our heroes, they decide to bravely head through to different times and dimensions to stop whoever is responsible. So pretty cool, the game appears to be about time travel, and this fits with what was sent out to some people in the gaming industry. It was a puzzle, and the box reads, a little something to help you pass the time, your favorite Bandicoot, and time was highlighted. Also, a bunch of screenshots were leaked, and also potentially the release date for the game. So if you don't want to be spoiled on all that stuff, stop watching the video. Now I'm going to show a few of them. So this one says Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time, October 9th, 2020. So it could be coming out October 9th this year. And here's a bunch of other screenshots supposedly coming from the game. Looking at those screenshots, they actually do fit a leak we had a while back about a new Crash game. 
This is from at viewer Anon over on Twitter, and it says, Scooping a different industry. Not only is a new Crash Bandicoot game coming, I've heard from someone I trust the whole thing revolves around masks with special abilities and that there will be levels where you play as Cortex. Cortex levels. Word is they tell the full story of Crash levels. So if something blows up to block Crash's progress, the challenge level will be you as Cortex setting off that explosion. I trust the source I got this info from. Just had some things clarified to me. You can play as Crash or Coco. The gameplay is Naughty Dog-like, no open world, and the progression system was described as like Super Mario Bros. 3 slash world. Themed worlds with individual levels in each. And that's all I know. All right, guys, well, that's everything I wanted to talk about in this video. What do you guys think is going to happen in the live stream reveal for the Arms Rep on Monday? Do you agree with me? Do you think it's going to be Min Min? Do you think a multi-character is possible, or do you think we're only going to get one? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. So once again, thank you guys for all the subscribes, all the likes. Uh, it really helps out the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do so, or like the video, or leave a comment, whatever you want. Uh, until next time, have a good one.